Hello Aquarius, it's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your March tarot scopes. So guys, this is my last video for the night. My throat is killing me. I wanted to tell you, if you hear my voice shaking, I apologize. <clears throat> if you hear me drinking, I apologize. However, we're hoping to make it through, guys, and I hope to have these to you by tomorrow. I would have had them to you sooner, but I have lost my voice, and we are moving and grooving. So welcome back, family. Big hugs. Lots of love. Welcome back, Aquarius. It's always good to be with you guys. So if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're a returning family member, high fives, dabs, lots of love, and big, 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 big hugs. All right. So a little bit of a forecast of going, what's going on in the celestial heavens. We have, dum, 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 Venus retrograde. Yes, we do, guys. So be prepared for all kinds of things to happen in love, okay? Now, it's going in retrograde on March 4th. It will go 13 degrees Aries. This will put Mars and Venus both in Aries at the same time. Holy moly. So just be prepared for maybe some selfish agendas or the me, me, me's that might be going on. Also, this is not a good time to try a new look or change the decor in your house, not to mention cut your hair because you're probably not going to like it in two to three months once it goes um, direct on May 20th. All righty. So let's jump into your power animal. You got the dog. All right. This means that it's time for protection, to be alert, to be brave, demote devotion and constant constancy. Um, the dog is all about adventure, curiosity, friendship, loyalty, vocalizing your truth and unconditional love, hearing beyond the veil. So you might be getting messages right now. Um... With that, uh, a lot of the stuff about the dog is just that, you know, it, it has it has the, the nose that can sniff things out. It's nudging you to be aware. There may be problems coming. Um, also think about the bark. It's about standing up and putting good boundaries and protection, okay? Devotion, protection, mm, and heed the warnings, okay? Now... The spirit that's walking with you is the hunter of vision. So you're going to have to change the way that you think, to change your words, to change your actions. It's that CBT kind of mentality. Like what are you going to be willing to change in order to move forward? The hunter of vision says that whatever you think you can see, you're going to have. This is attributed to the owl totem. I'm going to tell you, ready, aim, fire, because this is also like the moon card. Things are going to be illuminated. You're going to get information. You have to trust your nose. You have to trust where the dog is leading you. It's telling you about interpreting mysteries and making wise decisions. How are you going to interpret these mysteries? How are you going to make wise decisions? When well, you about to beat that drum and go bum ba dum ba dum bum ba dum ba dum big booty hoes, up with it. You got thunder drum and thunder drum is said, stand up for who you are. Believe in who you are. This is who I am and this is what I believe in and this is what I stand for. And then allow that bark to come out for you. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into your read, guys, because I don't know how much longer my voice is going to work. I do have the Babylonian tarot right here. And as I cut the deck, I have the Queen of Wands upright with the King of Arrows reversed. So, Aquarius, this is you and Fire Sign possibly getting into it, okay? Remember loyalty. Remember, think about all the attributes a dog has when there's a time of danger or like when they're afraid that something's going to happen. You know, they're very protective. Things to tell us these cards and show us the energies that you have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of March. This is going pretty good. And that's it. Oh! Oh my! Y'all got a lot going on, Aquarius. Let me give it another shuffle because they just like flew out of my hands. Okay, I think that's 
it. Okie dokie. In the past, we had temperance. In the present, we have the two of arrows reversed. The hidden influence is the star reversed. Your advice is the prince of arrows. Possible outcome is the king of arrows. Possible family situation with the king of cups. I'm going to pull out this card because I think it has something for you. The carob of disc. Okay. Aquarius. What the hell is going on? So we have temperance in the past. You were balanced. You were getting your roots down. You were trying to understand what was going on. Or you could have been dealing with the sign of Sagittarius. Either way it goes, you were feeling pretty copacetic. Everything was going good. But in the present, what's going on is there's an ending of a relationship, an ending of a partnership with this two of arrows. And you possibly got stabbed in the back. Okay? Don't sign any contracts. Look through everything with a fine tooth comb. Okay? Hidden influence. This is you, the Aquarian. And you're like living in a fantasy. You're hoping things will change, but you know they're not going to change. Because then, look, we have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Like telling you, look, dude, I'm your friend. I'm going to show you the way. And he's like arching up his arrow and he's shooting down the person who's doing you wrong. I'm getting a lot of Aquarian energy, a lot of decision making. And I want to see what this Prince of Arrows is trying to say. Five of Pentacles. So some of y'all are afraid because it's right by the uh, star reverse that whatever decision you made is it's kind of like uh, going to leave you out in the cold, leave you with no money. You're afraid that you're going to be broke. Uh, your words might be very sharp because that is the Prince of Arrows and he can be very sharp tongued. OK, now the possible outcome is you being pretty fucking pissed off. I mean, you're like angry. You can't believe it. Look at you. You're just like so judgmental or you're dealing with another air sign or a judge or a lawyer or an accountant who's being very judgmental. It could be an accountant because of the, the pentacles right next to it. What does the king of arrows want Aquarius to know? Happy home. So this air sign is like pissed. He doesn't, he's mad because you're going to have a happy home. This could be your husband who's coming out as an air sign, or this could be an air sign. But whatever, it's just like he's judgmental because his home is not completely happy. Now this king of cups wants you to know the wheel. So it's just timing. This king of cups is coming in at the right time, okay? Now, what does the carob of disc have for Aquarius? Let's see. Oh, okay, that was quick. Shaman of purification, it's time to clean house. And the ancestor of memory, you need to remember who's been there. Remember the dog. It's about loyalty. It's about being strong. It's about remembering who's going to be there, who was there, why they were there, how they were there. It's remembering. It's the merging of your intuition and your instincts coming together and making up one. And you remembering your path, okay? So, I feel like Earth Sign's coming in pretty strong for you too, Aquarian. But it's just time to clean out. It's time to get rid of fantasy. It's time to understand that there needs to be a movement, a progression. Okay? So I have, like I was saying, let's say this is a work situation. You were balanced. You made a decision. Uh, you're not really feeling the job where you're at. They sold you a dream. They're not paying you the money you want. And your boss is promising you a happy, happy outcome, but you're just not getting it. Okay, I have two tens in your read. This is a wonderful time to look for a new job. All right, two kings, probably going to get some kind of accolades or recognition wherever you go. Okie dokie. With that being said, let's see. Let's clarify this um, star card. Okay, so I have this the star card, which is seven, as an eight. Okay, with another eight. So this is going to cause a lot of anxiety because you might have been hoping for somebody, hoping for a date, hoping to start a conversation, 
and all communication has come to a halt with that eight of wands, okay? So you just feel like you're being left out in the cold, and so you might be a little judgmental because everybody else looks like they're happy and you're not, all right? Or you're just upset because your idea of a happy home isn't coming out the way you wanted it to, okay? However, it does not look bad. It still looks promising. You have the shaman of purification and the ancestor of memory. So it's like you're going to clean up, but you're also going to remember exactly who and what you are. Now, with that being said, your oracle card is the ziggurat of Ur. Okay, now this card is a little sexual, okay? This is the symbol. Uh, this is the lion represents the qualities of the goddess, courage, confidence, and empowerment. Her symbol, the eight-pointed star of Venus, is today reflected in the five-pointed star of Islam. This is Ishtar, okay? Now, um, she appears alongside a crescent moon. When she descended into the underworld, she had to remove her clothing until she was naked, and all sexual activity on the earth had ceased. Revived and returned to the world, Ishtar became the goddess of pure divine ecstasy at pleasure. How have you perceived sex in the past? Have you ever shied away from it, struggled to express your sexuality, or remember your natural sexuality? You are the very embodiment of divine love. Put aside your old beliefs and disgust and sin, and finally embrace your sexual self. Offer lovemaking to the divine. So it's almost like, dude, you don't have to have this perfect family to be happy, okay? You can have this king of cups and still be happy. Now, the middle world is saying, do you put your partner on a pedestal? Sometimes you aren't always treated with respect, and it's time for you to realize how amazing you are. Don't accept love from someone if that person does not embrace every part of you. How do you really feel about this relationship? Perhaps you have not been honest about your sexuality. Perhaps you have settled for second best, believing that any love is better than no love. Build your own tower on a real foundation and reach up to the divinity of your complete expression. Okay, the upper world where you see Ishtar, okay? Here Ishtar offers you the sight of owls, granting you access to her wisdom and revealing yours. Remember that the spiritual world is real in this life that it's a dream. In each hand, the goddess holds a knot of Ishtar representing fertility and our ability to create new life, the very world we live in. Truth that soon will be received and support guidance. You need to make the necessary changes. It's important for you to be who you truly are. You have no shame but to fully acknowledge yourself with your divine sexuality and stand proud. Ishtar, the shining star of Venus, will help you to remember that your pleasures and that your beauty and that within you is sexuality and sacredness and the sensual drive, okay? With that being said, I'm going to tell you sexuality is something very important for you right now. Be comfortable in your own skin and remember who loves you. Now, Kinaz came out for you, and Kinaz is saying, I hold the light, I raise the torch, I emerge from darkness. This is a sign of protection, recovery, and privacy, and the animal is the owl, okay? It says, ideas and new approaches. If you have been under unclear about your direction, Kinaz will light the way. Kinaz is associated with the owl and can see what others can't, and it's linked to wisdom, okay? Then we have Jera. This is about change and patience and having faith, realizing your dreams and your plans coming to flourishion, okay? It's a happy, happy room. And there's no reverse for it, all right? Oh, I forgot to put it up there. So there's Jera. Okie dokie. So Aquarius, I'm going to tell you the best advice I can give you is to watch your words. Do not make any hasty decisions. Allow things to be cleared out and accept that new job that's coming in. I think that's 310, so you might be arguing about some money with somebody also. So, with that Aquarius, big hugs, lots of love, high fives, elbows, and a kiss on the cheek. So I hope you guys are blessed this month. Have a wonderful month. Look forward to seeing you on the weeklies. Take care.